Irkutsk Regional Courthouse. This huge mansion on Labor Square, then Ivanovskaya Square, was built in the mid 19th century by Irkutsk merchant Peter Trapeznikov. Peter Trapeznikov was the grandson of Trofim, the founder of the Trapeznikov dynasty, which for more than three centuries, from the 17th century to the Great October Revolution, was one of the most important and richest merchant families of Irkutsk. Translated from ancient Greek, trapeza means dining table, usually in a monastery. But in the ancient Russian language, the word trapeznik meant merchant. And the Trapeznikov dynasty, they were really merchants with a capital letter. After the general city fire of Irkutsk in 1879, Vladimir Platonovich Sukhachev, the new owner of the house, another representative of the Trapeznikov dynasty, who at that time served as the mayor of Irkutsk, had the building severely damaged by the fire, completely repaired and reconstructed. Among other things, the third floor of the villa was expanded and a glass shopping gallery was installed on the second floor. At the end of the renovation, a sophisticated hotel, the Moscow Courtyard, was opened in the house with excellent European service, well above the level to which Russian hotels were accustomed at the time. we continue walking down Labor Square. On our left is the Circus Building, and on our right is Bogdanov Lane, where the Hotel Central, where we stayed, is located. More details about the hotel can be found in the video. A link to it can be found in the description. Here, in the Square of Labor, there is a sculpture dedicated to the talented Russian movie director, Leonid Gaidai. Probably you know such films of the famous director as Operation Y, The Caucasian Prisoner, The Diamond Hand, and other. Why was the monument to Gaidai erected on one of the central squares of Irkutsk? Leonid Gaidai was born not in Irkutsk, but in the small town of Svobodny in Amur province in January 1923. But a few months after his birth, Gaidai's family moved to Irkutsk, where Leonid graduated first from high school and then from the drama studio of the Irkutsk Drama Theater. At the drama theater, he worked for two years as an actor and lighting technician. So the inhabitants of Irkutsk have quite the right to call Gaidai their fellow townsman. Along the main street of Irkutsk, Karl Marx Street, formerly called Bolshaya, we came to the only pedestrian zone of the city, Uritsky Street. Перед вами единственная наша пешеходная улица и вторая, на которой нет ни одного, я имею в виду по возрасту, на которой нет ни одного деревянного здания. Первое, избавившееся от э, деревянных зданий, это была вот улица Большая. Нынешняя Карлова. Юрицкий стрит was named in 1920 after the chairman of the Petrograd Cheka, Moses Solomonovich Uritsky. Before that, it was called Pesterevskaya, in honor of the famous Irkutsk merchant Nikolai Vasilievich Pesterev. In the vernacular, the street is better known as the Irkutsk Arbat. We walked with our guide all along Karl Marx Street, the central street of Irkutsk. 
where there are incredibly many beautiful old houses with amazingly interesting history. Unfortunately, because of the car noise and wind, the vast majority of the stories Sergei generously shared with us could not be recorded. And yes, I have a lavalier microphone, but somehow I did not even think of taking it on a trip. We all really enjoyed the city tour of Irkutsk. Sergei managed to combine seemingly incompatible things. On the one hand, giving a lot of interesting information about Irkutsk, and on the other hand, not giving us a single chance to get bored and lose interest in this information. Probably this is the highest art of leading excursions. Thank you very much, Sergei. In the description, you will find a link to Sergei's page on the tripster.com. Thank you.